So when I first started feeding whole prey, I got from Here Today, one of the companies I'll talk about today. Loved it. Super great. Then I found a breeding facility and their prices were a little lower. They had more variety, so I went with them. Unfortunately, the quality went downhill after that. Lots of poop and urine smell in the bags. Super gross. That kind of, by Jericho, that kind of turned me off from feeding whole prey for a little while. But I found, I still use here today, and I found another one that I'm going to talk about in this video. Much better quality and much more transparency. And I have seen that the more transparency there is, the more the higher quality it is. Hello, my friend. It is Jess and my boss Jericho just left and he's going crazy scratching on his scratcher. <laughs> it is a blessing that you are here. Hallelujah. I'm so excited to talk about this. So the first one, Hair Today, I already mentioned and I've talked a lot about Hair Today on this channel. They are mainly a raw pet food supplier, but they do have whole prey. So this is really easy and convenient for you if you're like me, you wanna feed a little bit of raw alongside your whole prey. The reason that I like to do this is because whole prey is, it varies in, in size and weight. So you can't really get exactly the amount of what your cat needs daily. So for example, Jericho eats four ounces a day. You know, I could feed him a mouse and a hamster that's probably going to be like three-ish ounces a day, right? So then I'll just use the raw food to fill in that gap so that he is eating a full day's worth every day. I found that that's easier just because it's easier to portion and serve. And with here today, they have so many different proteins. Jericho has had beef, chicken, turkey, duck, lamb, rabbit, and quail. And then now he's had the mice and the day old chicks as well. Those are whole prey. He's also had the whole carcass ground guinea pig. I haven't tried the whole prey guinea pig. One of the reviews did say that the skull was a bit too large for the cat to chew through. So personally, I'm not going to try it. If you have tried it, I would love to know in the comments how it went with your cat. But the whole prey guinea pig carcass, the ground carcass, he did eat and that was fine. Uh, guinea pigs also have a lot of fur. Just like with whole prey quail, I kind of trim some of the feathers. So I would probably do the same with the guinea pig. But I've also never had them, you know, in, in person. Well, I had a pet guinea pig. But I haven't fed them to Jericho, just the ground. So the mice and the other whole prey actually come from a breeding facility called Lane Labs. And other than that, they source everything else from local farms. And the whole prey rabbits and whole prey guinea pig also come from local farms in the area. So it's local Amish farms. Now, the stuff that comes from Lane Labs, they have the adult mice and they have the pinky mice. And they have pinky rats. They also have the... Uh, day-old chicks and baby quail. The quail are very, very small. It's like quarter of an ounce, maybe. And I have had, Jericho has had those as well. So those all come from Lane Labs. The reason that I don't order straight from Lane Labs is because Hair Today is closer to me. Lane Labs is on the other side of the country. Hair Today is closer to me, so that's just easier shipping wise. I also like that they have the other raw pet foods, so I can get ground raw salmon, I can get ground raw rabbit. Jericho has some whole carcass ground rabbit. And actually, when I started with Hair Today, I found them because I was looking for rabbit back in 2019 when I started Jericho on homemade cat food. So I, that's, I've been a paying customer since then, and all, everything that I get from them is super high quality. Where the transparency comes in is that they've been on Susan Thixton's list for many years. Now, obviously, this wouldn't apply to the whole prey stuff. Just the human food would be considered human grade quality. So things like turkey thigh, chicken necks and, you know, muscle meats and organs. But things like lung, green tripe, whole prey, humans don't eat those. So it wouldn't be able to pass for human grade quality. But everything else is, and for their whole prey, the my, or excuse me, the rabbits and the guinea pigs, since they do source from local farms, they have a page dedicated to the farm, where they're located, what they're fed, and uh, how they're raised, so their environment. So they're very transparent about that. You can see what the diet consists of. You can see how often, you know, they say that they provide fresh water, they do clean bedding. They let they you know rotate the the uh, cages and everything. 
So I like that, that they have that transparency. And I found that that has led to higher quality. So I like that they have the whole prey mice, the, the adult mice. They have the day old chicks. Those are both appropriate for cats. Pinky rabbits would be appropriate for cats as well. Anything higher than that with the rabbits would be too large, I would think. Uh, but the pinky rabbits are are suitable enough for cats. Jericho just hasn't had them yet because they usually sell out quickly on here today. The con here is that they don't have a variety of sizes. So for example, the large mice that's the and the pinky mice, those are the only sizes that they have. So with the other breeding facility that I'm gonna talk about in this video, they have all the different sizes. So I like to feed jumbo mice just because typically they're retired breeders and you're going to get those will be female, whereas all the other ones are probably male. So it's good to change it up. It's good to change up the size, the ages, and all of that. Just because variety. In the wild, they would be eating all different, you know, babies up to adults and whatever they can find in between. The other con that I would say is that they don't have as much variety just because the pinky rats, those are quite small. It's not enough. To, it's, that's like a treat. You know, when I feed from the other breeding facility I'll talk about, I do get adult mice or adult rats. And with the quail, again, that's kind of like too small. You know, it's like two bites and it's gone. So really it's the adult mice, the Dale chicks, and the pinky rabbits that are appropriate and you would see good luck with. So I would like to see more variety, but again, they're a raw pet food supplier first and not you know, whole prey provider. It's just that they also offer whole prey, which I think is great. Another pro that I would say also is that sets them apart is that they have a rewards program. And I really like this. So you set up an account, you get discount points. You earn discount points on your purchases. You can share your referral link with friends and family like I do with you. So in the description, you'll see my referral link. If you use that to make, to purchase, I will earn discount points. If you create an account, you also earn discount points. So it's a win, 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 because your cat wins too. You can write testimonial on their website, submit a picture for their website. When you write reviews on products, all of your purchases, as long as you're signed into your account, you will earn discount points. And what I like about it is that you can apply it toward your shipping costs. So sometimes I'm able to eliminate my shipping costs and just pay for the product with the discount points. One time I got everything for free. One time it was like, $2 and 80 something cents. So those discount points really do come in handy. And I really like that they have that and that you can apply it towards the shipping cost. The next place that I love to buy my whole prey from, this is new for us. And that is cold blooded cafe. First of all, love the name because they sell to reptile owners. So of course, you know, snakes. And, uh, you know, that's very normal. I talked about that in another video, but I'm here to make it normal for cats too. But anyway, clever name, really like it. At first glance from the website, I like that they have variety and they also show pictures of all of their products. That is really, I didn't really see that among other breeding facilities. I saw that among another one, other one, I think I looked at like six or seven of them. One other one did show pictures, but they didn't have an, as much variety in prey species. But with Cold Blooded Cafe, they do show pictures of the product. So you can see what the prey look like before you purchase. So you can see the size, how the bag looks, the colors. I really like that and I appreciate that they took the time to post those pictures on their website. So with variety, what we've tried so far, Jericho has had their large mice, their jumbo mice, their small medium rats, and their hamsters. I got the medium hamsters. So I like that they have, they have small, medium, large hamsters. For rats, they have all different sizes from pinky all the way to, you know, triple XL or whatever. The same with mice. They have day old chicks. They also have different sizes of quail and they also have baby pheasant, which is new. That came in onto the website after I had already placed an order. They also have ASF, which is African soft hair, soft fur rats. And they also have those hamsters and they also have little lizards too. So I might get some of those for Jericho, but it's pretty cool because it, they have a lot of variety in both prey species and also in the size. So that's a big pro as well. When I found them, I looked on their Instagram and they had a code for free shipping over 250. So I was like, it's the first time I ordered, but I was like, whatever, I might as well just go for it. And I'm glad that I did because Jericho was able to try 
you know, a few different species, a few different sizes. And so far the quality is really good. I have seen like one or two poops, but nothing like the first breeding facility that I got from. I think it's kind of inevitable because they euthanize with CO2 gas and that's just, and then they freeze them immediately with dry ice to remain fresh. They pack them in there really well. Like when I saw the bag, I'm like, there's no way that there's 25 mice in here, but there are. <laughs> so it's pretty crazy. But they look healthy. They look well taken care of. There's no odor like urine smell like from the first breeding facility. So I really like that. And Jericho likes all of them too. So you can tell that they're clean. You know, the fur is nice and you can tell like they're not obnoxiously huge like they've been overfed. They're, they look very well taken care of. Another pro is there is a flat rate shipping cost. Now this could be a pro or a con. Like if you're, if you just want to test two products, you're still going to pay the same amount as if for shipping as if you had bought like 12 different products. That's why I just went with the free shipping because I would say check their Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below, but you know, cause I saw that code and I figured might as well, but it is flat rate. So I mean, whereas with hair today, it's based on the pounds, the amount of food that you have, the weight of the box. But just keep in mind that shipping costs, I mean, that's 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 just across the board. Like either we pay for it or the company pays for it. So that's why they give the incentive. If you're going to pay $250 worth of products, then we'll give you free shipping because it's worth it for them to offer that free shipping because you're spending a lot on the product itself. So I really like it. And so far, Jericho really likes it as well. I'm glad that I was able to find it. I've also found that their prices are kind of in line with other breeding facilities or a little lower. But like I said, I'm valuing the transparency because I know that that means better quality. Like I said, them in one other place actually shows real life pictures of their products. And I chose this, I chose Cold Blooded Cafe because they have more variety in price species versus the other one. And I think their prices were also better. So they won in both of those categories, the the pictures, the, the variety, and also the cost. So I'll put links to both of those down below. And if you are feeding dry or wet processed food right now, I'd highly re recommend switching your cat to a raw food diet first. That's going to help your cat get used to eating better quality ingredients. And that'll make the switch to whole prey much easier because you might offer whole prey and your cat's going to be like, what is this? Because they have zero fresh food in their diet. So you can also check out my switch to raw blueprint video course. That'll help you switch to a pre-made raw diet. And then from there, you can go to whole prey. Thanks for watching.